guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be painting this beautiful wooden wolf cutout who is howling at the moon and we're going to be painting a sunset and trees. First we're going to start with purple. We're going to make a quick transition to blue and that blue is going to prep us for the red that's going to come in. We're going to add some red and it's going to mix in with that blue and creating a darker color and it's going to be a kind of a purple color, but you won't see it just yet. After that, I'm going to wash my brush thoroughly and then add in some red. The red that I'm using is more of a pink red kind of color, and I'm going to be putting that and layering that in. And so I want to make sure it's blended perfectly. So I'm just going to grab my bristle brush and make sure that the red transition is seamless. As I work that red further down, I also want to add in a little bit of white to help with that transition. And so I grab that and work that in and blend it until that blend is also seamless as well. If you are enjoying this video, don't forget to hit that like button at the bottom left hand corner of your screen. That helps me know what kind of content to create for my channel. That will be enjoyed by most. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That helps me as a new YouTuber grow my channel and reach more people. Once I'm satisfied with the blend of the red, I go ahead and work into my orange. Now, it's really important to work the orange into the red while that red is still wet. That allows for the most efficient and seamless blend. Once the orange is completed, I go ahead and start working in my yellow. I want to make sure that I mix it in with the orange that I put on the wolf. That way it starts to blend easier and easier as I work towards the bottom. Want to create this at home? Check out the description below for all the materials you can possibly need to recreate this wolf howling at the moon. Don't want to do it yourself? Check out my Etsy shop, also listed in the description below. After I'm satisfied with the yellow, I add a little bit of white to it, and I start working that in where the setting sun is going to be. Blending your paint is very important on this particular project. It will allow the setting sun to pop, as well as the colors to slightly fade up into the night sky. As an artist, you tend to pick up little tricks here and there over the years. And this little trick is just the top of a paint jar. And I coat it in yellow and dab it exactly where I want my sun to be. Now that my sun is in place, I'm going to go ahead and put some stars in my night sky all the way at the top of the wolf. Now I have to be very careful as I'm putting these stars on there. I don't want them to go into my sunset too far. And so if they do, just go ahead and paint right over them. I then go and place some particular stars in no particular order. You could add a constellation there if you wanted. That is completely up to you. Finally, I grab my liner brush and I place my tree trunks where I want them. I thought it would look nice if they were framing my setting sun, so I made this U shape with the tops of my trees. I then take my liner brush again and start working in my treetops. Now they're just little dots that start forming a small triangle at the tops of each of my trees. And this just gives me a little bit of a start so I can fill in my trees later. Now once a couple of those are started, I grab my angle brush, load it up with some black, and start dabbing in the rest of my trees. I want to go ahead and get them filled in so I can finish up this beautiful wolf. Once I get most of the trees filled in on the right hand side, I go ahead and start filling in the wolf's foot with some black. I'm also careful to leave a little bit of spacing for the sunset to shine through. Because my sun is still wet, I start working on the left hand side and start filling in the trees over there just like I did the right hand side. Hey, I'm not just an artist, so next week's video is going to feature lumpia and how to make it. Once I'm done with my trees, I go ahead and add in some more stars just to give my wolf a more complete look. I go in with some touch-ups on my black near my sun now that it's dried a little bit more just to give the trees a more finished look. 
After the wolf dries, I go in with a good coat of epoxy mixed with some beautiful holographic glitter and stars. It now has a beautiful shimmer, sparkle, and shine. If you want to see more of my art, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.